Hello, everyone. Welcome to What Sold Sa Is this the first What Sold Saturday I've been back for? Yes. I mean, you were in the one two weeks ago, but last week, it was Debbie. This week, it is you again. It's me. And yes. then next week, it'll be me again. Yes. The videos uh, should look normal going forward, at least for who's in No that. more Debbie. <laughs> ah, finally. Before we jump into What Sold Saturday, <laughs> Ryan is actually leaving this weekend. I leave today. Surprise, surprise. Ryan going out of town. I've never heard of that happening before. He is going to be gone until like the end or middle of the day on Tuesday, but do not fret. There actually will not be any difference in like videos. We have been smart and like pre-filmed stuff because actually in two weeks, we're both going on a week vacation with our family. Again, don't fret. There's not going to be any weird change to videos. We are like putting in the work now so that we can have normal videos going up then. So actually upcoming this week, we have a thrift with us slash going to like Nordstrom Rack and TJ Maxx and stuff. That's going to be on Tuesday. That'll be so much fun. Then on Thursday, we're going to have another bolo video. And like I think we said in the last one, it's going to be a bags bolo video. And we have some good brands, some very, once again, like niche brands that we're pretty excited to talk about. That's what's upcoming this week. I'm going to Denver. I'm super excited. I've never been to Denver before. Except Denver, yeah. We've been except to Colorado. the airport. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that. I'm that would be fun. I'm super staying at home so i'll be here just probably posting to my instagram Hopefully story Aaron and taken up by a wildfire working like a bear okay so we i suppose are just gonna jump right into it it once again was definitely not the best week i think that this is the summer slowdown. I've heard about it so many times in years past and honestly haven't had too much of an issue with it, but this year it seems to be hitting a bit harder than it does normally. The mm -hmm. sales have just not been as frequent. I feel like I've been getting the same like traffic though, like the same amount of likes and sharing from yeah. people, but just like no sales. I don't know if it's because obviously everything's so expensive, gas and stuff and people's money are not going right yeah. to their closets, but something is definitely slowing down. I mean like I stream. haven't bought myself any new clothes in like forever, no. honestly. So like- I'm hoarding my money for fall. So maybe that's where everyone's I'm at. I'm hoarding to fill up my freaking yeah. gas tank. Yes, I know. So we're just gonna jump into it. And actually before we do the Poshmark ones, I don't have any other platform sales that I wanna tell you guys about, but I do have a viewer that I really want to thank. And that is Roanne. So hello and thank you, Roanne. Roanne purchased the Isabel Meron sweatshirt from me. And Roanne, do you know how many freaking people People I had asking about this thing. So, so I'm glad that she scored it. And yeah, so I sent that off to Roanne yesterday and she's gonna love that and we can twin now. I think I wrote her a note and I said like, we should twin because I, I, have, I have the hoodie version in tie-dye. And now Roanne has the like classic crew neck. So this week covers the 25th through the 1st and we're into July now. And I will say we are filming this July 1st in the yes. morning. So this mm -hmm. is not counting any July 1st sales unless- I have one, I made one this morning. I have not made any yet. And I so about that. there could be a few more sales for this week. Not right now, but happy July, everyone. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the first day of this What's Sold Saturday, like I said, is the 25th and I had six sales. I had five. My week started by looking normal and looking mm -hmm. decent and it died. <laughs> It, yeah, you know, my week started off really strong. Yeah, it looks like a ski slope if this week was a graph. My first sale was a very, very Ryan sale. I'm surprised they even chose to sell this. It was this Urban Outfitters ruffle checkered mini dress and it sold for 14 and I get 9.33. That's why I don't sell Urban Outfitters. You find it, take it to like Plato's Closet. Mm -hmm. Unless it's maybe like a really cute or really current piece. Or like a collab. Next up, I sold this Athleta Cozy Karma asymmetrical zip front sweatshirt and this sold for 28 and I get 2068 and that was an older label but like i said with aretha Athleta, i don't really mind what labels in it then i sold this anthropology amadi terry cloth drawstring sweatshirt for 20 and i get 16 and this is the type of stuff that recently i have just tried to like stay away from picking up unless it's at the bins but this was from a consignment store i think almost exactly a year ago and I would not repeat that now. No. Then this was my best sale of the week and this was gorgeous. This was from a consignment shop and I think I paid about 
60 for it. It was this Sandro conversational Zodiac star printed dress. And I hope that this photo is showing off the print enough. If it's not, hopefully I'm like switching to a photo where it shows the print because I love the print of this dress. Sold for 245 and I get 196 and I actually do have a Sandro piece with the same print, but it's a blouse. Really cute. Cute. Then I sold this vintage cottagecore Dream of Gauze dress. When I found that, I thought that by the name of the, on the label, I thought it sounded familiar, but then I couldn't find anything on it anywhere. Sold for 25 and I get 20. Last on the 25th, I sold this Athleta Hall two-in-one workout leggings, and this is like the skirt leggings. Sold for 40 and I get 32. You I sell these really well. Those shockingly do I sell very well. I cannot for anything. And tall Athleta can actually sell really well too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first on the, 25th big one start on the week on a big note this went to the lovely miss nicole thank you so much she bought this bundle of this ralph loren southwestern knit lambs wool sweater this pair of sorrel 1964 brown gray the joan of arctic little booties and then this coach vintage red leather mini crossbody bundle sold for 500 dollars. wow i don't think i've had a bundle sell for that much before no and then and then everything has to go get checked by posh which is so funny when it's like a bundle so it's not like, singular items over fake and Unfortunately, yeah. Um, so Nicole, thank you so much. I hope she loves everything. That sweater was. Is that the big like tribal one? Mm -hmm. That was stunning. It was a bit fun. Oh my gosh! And that is also such a cute outfit. Yeah, and she's I'm also saying. ready for fall. Look I'm like jeans, white I'm, t-shirt. There she goes. I'm so here for that bundle. Love. That's amazing. Thank you, Nicole. Then I sold this pair of Birkenstock men's Boston brown suede loafer or little slip-on sandaly things. Sold for forty dollars. I make thirty-two. Then I sold this Agui or Agué Mexican Mandia? vibrant floral leg and look jacket. I had her, this brand like when I googled it had some expensive stuff that came up, but like I didn't see anything in English that was retail. So I feel like this is definitely like a Latin American brand. Mm -hmm. um, sold full price for seventy-five dollars, and I make sixty, which like that's really great. random yeah. out of the blue sale. I was super excited with it, so that's nice. Then I sold this. Herb Urban Outfitters oversized, truly madly deeply v-neck t-shirt sold for $20. I make $13.32. And then my last on the 25th was this Aritzia Wilfred Lavender ribbed short sleeve top sold for $20. I make $16. Then my week <laughs> already just plummeted. I had one. I had one sale on the 26th. I had six. Well, okay. My one sale, it was pretty decent though, so that kind of helped. I sold this pair of Valentino Rock Stud Rubber Slip-On Slides, and these sold for 175 and I get 140 So for being a single sale day, that's, pretty good. that's not that bad. Like, I would take a day like that any day. Okay, so my first on this 26th, oh my gosh, was another full price sale. This Polo Ralph Lauren Vintage Blue American Flag Sweater. Sold full price for $99. I make $79.20. Lots of Ralph I Lauren. I sold all of my Ralph Lauren yeah. this week, which I'm not This mad. was very fitting, obviously, for the mm -hmm. week. That for sweater. Yeah. yeah. Then I sold this pair of Iviva Lululemon Black Soccer Loose Fit Shorts. Sold for $16. I make $10.12. I'm over Iviva. If I find it, I'm just gonna take it to like Once Upon a Child because I don't wanna deal with it. I don't wanna make $16. I have never really sold that Viva. Mm -hmm. Then I sold this pair of Lulu Lim, and so her mom came back and bought herself these. <laughs> Black Ready to Rulu joggers, sold for $48. Ready to Rulu? Rulu's like the material. Yeah, but Ready to Rulu? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm done asking questions. <laughs> There's no point. You're <laughs> shouting into a hole at that point. Um, I make thirty-five seventy-two. Then I sold this Urban Outfitters out from under white bralette. Sold for fourteen dollars. I make eight thirty-seven. Then I sold this pair of New Tech Spanx gray black camo shorts. Yes, I still have pairs of these camo shorts. Sold for thirty-two dollars. I make twenty-two ninety-two. Then I sold this Athleta. Look at me selling an Athleta. Wow. And I read the athleta you, you Mala. Don't, you don't even list the athleta. You just. No. This was cute though. I like this dress. It was the Mala black white sleeveless dress. Sold for $32. I make $22. 92 and that was it for my 26th. On the 27th, I didn't have any. Okay, go. I didn't have any either. That's weird. Did you have any on the 27th? <laughs> because that's really strange. So yeah, let us know if you had anything on the 27th. On the 28th though, I did have four. Do you want me to say none or zero? <laughs> Which one sounds better? So my first sale was this pair of Zara lace up side zip leather heeled boots and they sold for 20 and I get 16. Yay. Then I sold this pair of American Eagle striped high rise mom jeans and these also sold for 20. 
and I get 16. Yay. Then I sold these <laughs> Levi's Black High Skinny Jeans, and these sold for 30, and I get 21, 32. Yay. And last on the 28th, I sold this Pendleton Vintage Plaid Blue Blazer, sold for 38, and I get 30, 40. So That's nothing cute. too mind blowing. Then on the 29th, I had four. No. My first sale, this sold really, really quick, and it could have been luck. It was that Zone Blue Paris Ruffle Log and Look Zip Jacket. And a lot of you I were laughing, a lot of you were laughing at my reaction when I was hauling it, because it's just not my style. It's interesting. It's just not my style. Sold for 40 and I get 32. That is what I listed it at, because if you remember, it did have two flaws to it. And also... I, the comps, it was one of those brands where the comps are like are 80 million everywhere. or 4 dollars. Some people Oof. have it for 400, some people have it for like 25. <laughs> and I was kind of like, oh, since it's a gamble, I just wanted to like go. Yeah. So yeah. Then I sold this Madewell Food Culture Graphic Printed T-shirt, sold for 27 and I get 2160. It had like foods from all different kinds of cultures on it. It was cute. really cute. Then this is my one bundle of the week. It included this pair of Spanx dark gray denim print seamless leggings, Vineyard Vine Boys Halloween graphic T-shirt, J Crew floral printed midi short sleeve dress, Barefoot Dreams cozy chic circle cardigan, and and Spanx high-waisted bodysuit tights. And all together, these sold for $125, which was actually like half off of the original price. But my sales have been hurting. A lot of these are just mm -hmm. like, please take my thing. Thank you for the money. Much appreciated. And so I get 100 but I will take anything. <laughs> and then last on the 29th, went to Cindy. So hello to Cindy, Cindy and thank you very much. She got this Bryn Walker Pacific Cotton button jacket. So the label <laughs> just says Pacific Cotton, but upon further research, that is a Bryn Walker line and it sold at Fa Bushes mm -hmm. and sold at all the Lag and Look type stores. Sold for 30 to Cindy and I get 21.32 and like I said, especially on weeks where sales are just painful, you guys buying from us means that much more. So Literally. thank you, thank you so much, Cindy. Okay, my one and only on the 29th was this vintage cottage core 70s boho balloon sleeve maxi dress. Sold for $40, I make 29.32. And then on the 30th, I only had one. I only had one too. And, and my only- a sad little sale. My only sale on the 30th was this Aloe Yoga oh, Yin cute. Yang Half Zip Drawstring Sherpa Sweatshirt. That was cute. This was the cutest aloe piece I've ever had by far. And it was a bin spine. So that's We'd fantastic. Love that. And the tag wasn't cut out. Because Aloe is kind of like Lulu and Fabletics like, where people <laughs> always cut the tags out. Rip that tag out. So this sold for $55. And I get 44, and that was all for the 30th. My 30th is this sad little sale. <laughs> uh, Bowden Multicolored Big Buttons Floral Blouse sold for $15. <laughs> I make 12. Then moving on to July the 1st, which is today that we are filming, mm -hmm. I have not had any yet. I had one this morning, and it was this pair of number six old school high heel dark brown clogs. If you don't know, number six is like a really expensive Danish or Swedish or one of them countries. Cue the bowl yeah, the little bowl notebook. It's a clog company, and they make like hand carved wooden shoes. <laughs> um, they sold for one hundred and ten dollars, and I make eighty eight. They were bins find, <laughs> which I was very excited about. My gross for this week, I guess you beat me, was nine hundred and thirty two. Mine was one thousand and sixty one dollars. And I will say, I. I had a few eBay sales. I had no Depop and I don't even know if I had a Mercari. So this was just like all around. I had one little Depop sale, Not the two best. little Depop sales and I had two little eBay sales, but they weren't like over $30. So my net was 745 and 60 cents. Mine was $848.80. Yes. So here's to hoping that this next week is somewhat better because this was not that great. <laughs> what? Are you okay? Are you glitching? You look like a thwomp. <laughs> 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 Uh, swampy. Yeah, so okay, not the best week, but please, as usual, let us know below how your sales week was. I think I saw 
kind of across the board that sales have not been good lately. And that's across yeah. the board for people, and mm -hmm. that's also across the board for platforms. Mm -hmm. People have been saying eBay's been slow. I have been saying that Posh has yeah. been slow, and a lot of people have. A lot of things are slow right now. I think it's just the summer slowdown. Hopefully things will pick but up. But we'll get through it. And like, mm -hmm. everyone loves to shop fall fashion. Yes. And we're only I'm like a month away. Honestly, up on sweaters. Honestly, by the end of July, everybody starts kind of thinking fall because mm -hmm. like, you just do. Yeah. After 4th of July, it's some, summer's, it's summer can, it's you know what? And there's bugs. Yeah, it's and not it's fun. Over. We're not having fun anymore. No. <laughs> so like I said, we will on a Tuesday be having a come source with us video. And then on Thursday, we'll be having another Bola video of bags, the hand bags. Sea bags. Ryan's going to go head off to Denver now. But first, actually, we're going to the gym. Yes. So that's what we're doing. Happy Saturday, everyone. We will see you guys on Tuesday. Goodbye. Goodbye.